My pulse throbbed thickly through my entire body, grinding like cogs in my chest, my wrists, and my temples. Rasping, I sucked in some air and felt a soreness in my throat. Tickling, acrid, triggering a dry cough as my stomach churned. I forced my eyes open and found myself staring into a murky brownish soup, sloshing from side to side as if trapped in a giant rimless bowl. Blinking made no difference. Shapeless clouds blurred in front of my eyes. Orange stars exploded in stroboscopic rhythms. I must have been lying there unconscious for some time. If I passed out again, it would be the end of me. I felt a hand touch my forehead. It was my own hand, the left one, though I couldn't see it. I tried to move my right hand, but I failed to get a response. My legs were equally immobile. I couldn't move them at all. An indeterminate mass was weighing me to the ground. I ran my tongue over my teeth. They were all there, present and intact. So the metallic taste of blood in my mouth did not stem from there. My head pounded as though a stray bird had found its way into my skull and was banging against the walls of my cranium. Straining, I was able to lift my head. It was a minimal movement, but something of a reassurance. I heard a moist, slimy noise beneath me. My wet hair pulled at my scalp, clawing tenaciously at the clammy ground. Was that blood? Was my head bleeding? I carefully ran my fingers over the back of my head, searching for the source of the blood. My hair was encrusted with cold, chalky dirt. I was unable to locate an injury. No matter how hard I tried, and regardless of how close I held my fingers in front of my eyes, I could not make out if they were bloodied or not. Instead, I was able to distinguish what the dark brown billowing mass around me was. Dust. And behind the swirling cloud of dust was a faint source of light. My eyes were burning. The dust stung my retinas. They began to water. I touched my nose and smelled my fingertips, trying to assess whether or not they were blood-stained, without even knowing if blood had a smell, and, if it did, whether I would be able to recognize it. All I could smell was oil, metal, and machine. Every particle of settling dust reeked of it. My nose itched. I had to sneeze. A bolt of stinging pain shot out from my weighted stomach and went through my body. Did I have an internal injury? Was it my stomach, liver, or kidney? Was I bleeding to death on the inside? My throat began to tingle. I tried to suppress the desire to cough, but failed. The unbearable pain rocked my body again. I imagined my muscles under the strain of the unspeakable weight on top of me, unable to move even an inch. My dry cough was deadened. It was a sound without an echo, lost in a soundproof room.